Grab the instruction guide go down below. Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business. Welcome back to the channel. Today in QuickBooks Point of Sale, I am actually going to show you how I would track charitable giving. And I'm not speaking about writing a check out to a charity. Uh, that is totally easily tracked inside the accounting system. Uh, but what I'm talking about is taking some of your products off the shelf and giving them to a charitable organization. This will be like a, a donation of goods or services. And so I'm gonna walk through how you can track that pretty easily. It takes up a little bit of setup, but I think this is the best way. There are several ways that you could track this. Uh, this is the one that makes the most sense to me. So before we do that, I'm gonna have you click on the link down in the description below to get over to our QuickBooks point of sale Facebook group. Join up there, we have over a thousand members ready to pitch in and and put in comments on anything that you post in the group, whether it's a problem or something you don't know how to do, or maybe you have a video request, I will see you there. I would be happy to uh, join in the dialogue with you. And if you're on YouTube today, don't forget to hit subscribe so you get all the latest, greatest QuickBooks point of sale videos coming at you all the time. Okay, excellent, let's do this. So we are gonna head to the make a sale screen and I am going to add a new customer and I probably usually track these as companies so let's say I am uh, donating some goods to St. Jude's whatever that is we'll just pretend that's the organization I am selling to now I'm probably going to make this person uh, this company not a rewards member and I would probably make it tax exempt because I don't want to charge tax on something that I'm giving away that just totally doesn't make sense. You'll see in a moment. So I'm gonna save that. Do I wanna enroll them? No, I do not. All right, so we got St. Jude's that we are donating some goods to. And then you're gonna simply just ring up all the goods. So let's see, I'm gonna give them some uh, shirts. Let's see, I got an info security shirt here. Let's say I'm gonna give them 10 of those, and what else can I donate? Uh, a QuickBooks shirt, which doesn't have a price. Hold on, I'm gonna skip that one. That one doesn't have a price, so it's not gonna make sense. Um, let's see, I'm, I'm gonna donate some Mountain Dews for some reason. Now, something that I want you to pay attention to, and you need to ask your accountant about this, um, are you, supposed to track how much how much these should have been or how much they cost you so if your accountant wants to know all the goods that you donated like what their full price was that you would have sold them at then you can certainly track that uh, but if they actually want to know the value like what you paid for them this might be different depending on the location that you're in or how your accountant does your taxes but I'm just gonna say that you can sell them at full price and it would be 286.97 for me here. Or if I want to, I can customize columns up here and I can show the cost on these items to myself. And if your accountant wants to track this charitable giving as what you paid the cost, then you're gonna need to adjust your pricing to your cost. So these would become 1249 for the price these would become 0.85 for the price and that is what I'm actually going to charge here so amount due 129.15 if I'm just tracking the cost now I have this as a customer I'm just going to charge this to account because we are going to be doing something in QuickBooks accounting in order to track this so I'm tra I'm charging everything that I'm giving away to the account under the company that I'm giving it to. Uh, this is a new customer, so it doesn't know what credit limit I should give that customer. I'm just gonna say 10,000 because it doesn't really matter. You just make it really high and there we go. So we charged everything that we're donating to account under that customer, save or save and print. Once you're done with that, you're going to want to update your QuickBooks. And this will take just a second to send that inf information over to QuickBooks Accounting. Come on, you can do it. There we go, sales receipts. Okay, everything is sent over. Now I'm going to bring up QuickBooks Accounting 
if I go to the customers area and look up St. Jude, now I can see that there is an open invoice for $129.15. And here is how we're going to kind of channel that to be tracked. Uh, first of all, you are going to want to check your chart of accounts to see if you have a charitable account, like a charity expense account. Uh, I guess I have two. One is an income account. Um, that's probably not something I did. But I have an expense account called Customer Charitable Donations, which sounds about right. Uh, you can just create an account. It'll either be an expense or an uh, expense other, other expense account. So you have your Customer Charitable Donations. So you have your expense account. Now what we need to do is create an item that we can kind of channel that money through. So we're gonna go on list to item list, and it says not to sell anything in here because you're hooked up to point of sale, so keep that in mind. Now down here, I'm gonna to go to new item. So my item, I'm going to make a non-inventory part. I'm gonna call it charity expense, and uh, I'm gonna turn on purchasing and I'm going to attach this to customer charitable donations expense account on the expense and on the income side uh, just in case it heads in or out uh, and description I can just say charity expense oh it already did it okay and we want to turn tax off this is not going to be a taxable item. Uh, we're just using this as a conduit. So there we go, non-tax. And we have the account. Oh, this one set itself to something else. Hold on here. Come on now. We want them to both be the same thing there. Okay, now... We can see customer charitable donations is what that is mapped to. Okay, so there we created our pretend item, which is charity expense, and it's mapped to our charity account. Now we're gonna open up the invoice that is under that customer, and this is an outstanding invoice. This is what happens when you charge to account. We can see POS receipt 253. All of that is kind of besides the point. 129.15 is outstanding. So we're going to go right under what is on this invoice and I am going to find my charity expense item that I just created, which is mapped to my charity account. And I am going to negate the whole amount of 129.15 by putting a minus here. So that will cancel out everything above it and now the balance due is zero. So if I go ahead and save this, do you want to save the transaction? Yes, I do. Now it shows it as paid, so this is not going to be like some dangling loose end open invoice where where this is owed. Now it is negated and the expense that is owed has actually been channeled to the account that was attached to that item. So now if I go back to my chart of accounts and I look up that uh if I look up customer charitable donations, I can see that 129.15 was debited in this expense account. So if you just keep doing this all year long, it is going to continue to create more and more um, debit amounts in this expense account. And then at the end of the year, your, uh, your accountant, all they need to do is look in this account and see what the total is that you have donated and it's super simple for them. They can see it right away and they can see that your, um, what you owe, or not what you owe, what you can write off for charitable donations. So I'll show you here, if we go up to the reports menu, you know, it's the end of the year, it's tax time. You're gonna go to your profit and loss and down here under other expenses, we see customer charitable donations and we see that we have 129.15 which is an expense which is you can write that off all right my name is peter with blackrock business thank you very much you have an excellent day now